And welcome back, you fabulous third graders. We need our problem set out. Like Princess Yvonne said, we're going to go to page 51. You can always pause this recording if you need to go and do a few things. It's 0923. 2020. Okay, number one. We're going to follow the directions to label the number line below. Okay, so Ingrid gets ready for school between 7 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock a.m. Label the first and last tick marks as 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Well, we just go over here to the ticky tick marks. That's what these are called. And we put 7 o'clock. And I'll put the a.m. down here so I have a little room to write. And over here, let's double check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We'll put 8 o'clock a.m. Okay, check. Number two. Each interval represents five minutes, just like we did in the concept development. We're going to count by fives starting at zero, our 7 o'clock a.m. We're going to label each five-minute interval below the number line up to 8.05, 8 o'clock a.m. All right, so we're going to label each interval. So I'm going to start up here with 7.05, and we don't need to put the a.m. We got that there. 7 10, 7, 15, 7, 20, 7, 25, 7, 30, 7, 35, 7, 40, 7, 45, 7, 50, 7, 55, and voila, 8 o'clock. Check. C. England starts getting dressed at 7, 10 a.m. Plot a point on the number line to uh, represent this time. Above the point, write D. So we're going to go to 7, 50, 7, 10, and write D for getting dressed. Check. Number D. Huh, D right here. Ingrid starts eating breakfast at 7.35 a.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time above the point right E. Okay, so 7.35. There's 7 right there. And we'll write it below. We'll write E. E. Ingrid starts brushing her teeth at 7.40 a.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time above the point right T. So 7.40. T. Ingrid starts packing her lunch at 7.45 a.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time above the point right L. So it's 7.45 right there. Time for her to get her lunch ready. Ingrid starts waiting for the bus at 7.55 a.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time above the point right W for waiting. So 7.55, she waits. Let's review. 7 o'clock, she wakes up or starts getting ready. 7.10, she dresses, 7.35, she eats, 7.45, she brushes her teeth, 7.45, she makes her lunch, and 7.55, she's waiting for the bus. Why did I I'll put two Ws? Oh, well, I put two Ws there. Maybe she waits twice as long sometimes. All right, so let's turn the paper over. Problem set. And we'll look at number two. Uh, label every five minute below the number line shown. Hmm. Draw a time, a line from each clock to the point on the number line, which shows its time. Not all the clocks have matching points. What? Not all the clocks have matching points. Goodness me. So we have 5 o'clock p.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. Well, does 8.35, is that going to wind up there? No. No, I don't think so. Because it's 8 o'clock. It's past all that. Here we got this clock here. And what's it saying? It's not quite 6 o'clock, so it's still the 5 o'clock hour. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Guess what time it is? 5.50. Okay, let's do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then we'll draw a line that connects. 5.15. Hmm, seems easy enough, right? 5, 10, 15. We'll go over here to 540. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And it's 5, 40. Right. Over here, what do we have going on? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's 5, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We can go over there. Remember, if I'm going a little too quick for some of you, you can always pause. Like Princess Yvonne likes to say, pause. All right, let's go with uh, three. Noah uses a number line to locate 5.45 p.m. Each interval is five minutes. The number line shows the hour from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Label the number line below to show his work. So Noah uses a number line to locate 5.45 p.m. Each interval is five minutes. Okay, so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I'm going to put 5, 45 p.m. And we can also, if we really want to, we can go like this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 5, 45 p.m. And a lot of times in your Rick and Math, we do these arrows that go boom. Right there. So 5.45 p.m. Let's look at number four. Tanner tells his little brother that 11.25 p.m. comes after 11.20 a.m. Huh. Do you agree with Tanner? Why or why not? That's a tricky question. 11.25 p.m., 11.20 a.m. We really haven't covered this too much, but we can make a number line to kind of represent the continuous uh, nature of time. And we'll call this 12 a.m. 12 a.m. is midnight, okay? Midnight. Most of us are in bed by then. Then we got 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m. And this is what we call noon. So midnight, noon. Then we think about it. The day continues on, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to get out of school, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and once again, it's 12 a.m. So this character says that 11.25 p.m. comes after 11.20 a.m. Let's take a look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is uh, 11.20 a.m. would be right around here. So we can say 11.20 a.m. And then 11.25 comes after 11.20 uh, a.m. Well, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 11.25 p.m. would be right around here. So we have midnight, noon, 11.20 a.m., and right before it becomes midnight again of the next day, it's 11.25 p.m. So in this case, we could say that 11.25 p.m. comes after 11.20 a.m. Oh, that's a heavy-duty question right there. We're not going to bother writing it down. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my screencast of I. Let's see if I can get my lighting a little better without blinding me. I'm trying to come up with some good lighting for this area. Hmm, a little better. Hi. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. I haven't recorded.